Okay, so an official welcome to everybody um, to our Color Confident class. Tonight we are doing Eyes Oh My. I think this is our, what is this, our fifth class? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, so this is class number five, and we're going to talk about how to apply eyeshadow for your eye shape. Now, there are, there's, are some basic techniques that really will work for all eye shapes. Um, but if you want to absolutely bring out the best in your features, you can apply your eye makeup a little bit differently for your eye shape to just give you the best results. And so we're going to talk a little bit about that tonight and show you some products to use. Now, on our very first week, we did color theory, where we talked specifically about um, choosing your eyeshadow shades based on your eye color. And so I wanted to show you, I'm going to do a quick little screen share here, just as a quick review. Pull this up for you. Okay. So can y'all see that? Okay. Where it shows the different eye colors we have for brown eyes, um, just some really nice rose and purple shades look great. And really brown eyes can wear anything. Brown eyes can wear any color. You can be very bold. You can see that uh, we've got it with purple shades, blue shades, and green shades. All right. So that's for the brown eyes. I'm going to zoom in here a little bit more. For the blue eyes, um, what will most complement and bring out the blue is orange shades, so golds, gold colors, um, but also some really pretty, uh, um, like we've got the Heather, Shiny Penny, Cinnabar, so roses and golds are really going to bring that, make your blue eyes pop. And then for green and hazel eyes, you're looking at purples. Purples are really going to make your green eyes stand out. Now, any eye color can wear any color. So it's not like you can't wear purple or you can't wear gold or you can't wear green. You know, if you have certain eye colors, you can wear any shades. And you can also find some really awesome tips on this on your consultant's website. So let me show you actually, I'm gonna stop sharing real quick. I'm gonna pull up my website. I had it pulled up and then I accidentally closed it right before we got started. So I'm going to pull this back up, but I want you to be able to see how you can go to your beauty consultants website and do so much of your own, just like fun playtime research, whatever you want to call it for eye colors. All right. So this is my website. You can go to your beauty consultants website. It, it is updated all the time, but there are some really fun things. You can even type in, I typed in eyes and you can do how, see that tips and trends right there, how to's, or you can click on tips and trends right here. Okay. And so this is a section where it shows everything. You can find that foundation quiz that we talked about one week. Um, your, and we have our mirror me app. So you can actually, this is really cool. You can do this on your phone. There's an app. You can do this on your computer and it actually does. I can't do it while I'm on zoom because my camera is being utilized by zoom, but your computer camera will create a mirror image of you and you can try on lipstick and eyeshadow sh shades. And you guys, you can do a lip liner, a lipstick and a lip gloss. So you could actually do a complete look, not just one at a time. It's so cool, y'all. It's so, so cool. Every time I come on here and play a little bit on my own website, I'm like, oh my gosh, this is so neat. I learned something new and see something fun that I hadn't seen before. So you can go into these, you know, crave worthy looks and all of that. You can see all these different, like they're just always updating like new and improved different looks. We have our different eyeshadow looks right here. Um, and so it's going to show you just some great information with, you know, just playing with our eyeshadows. All right. So lots of fun. So I just want to let you know that that is there. Did you guys, were you guys able to see that? Okay. Are you seeing my website? Yeah. Yes. Okay, good. All right. <laughs> Sometimes when I do the add, share, stop, share, all that, it can get a little wonky. So I wanted to make sure you were looking at what I was talking about. 
Okay, so that is just some fun kind of a recap. We did go into it in more detail if you want to go back to our color confident course number one, color theory, where we talk about why certain colors complement um, based on, you know, just our color wheel. Okay, so you can go back and watch that. Tonight, what we want to talk about is our eye shapes. And so I'm going to pull up, let me find where I have that on my computer here. Okay, so I want to do a little review of our eye shapes. Um, go. And then we'll actually start playing with color and, Ms. and I'm going to be bringing Miss Jennifer on here. So the first one is the standard eye. All right, so these are eyes that are about one eye width apart. And so if you look at the size of your eye and you put one in the middle, that would be standard if one eye would fit. All right, if it's less than that, we're gonna see this in a little bit. If it's less than that, then those are close set eyes. And if it's more than that, those are wide set eyes. All right, so that's how you can tell that. Um, and this is the one where you have eyelids with eye creases that are readily seen. So I have a standard eye. When I have my eye open, you can see the top portion of my eye. And when my eye is closed, you can see the crease and you can see the lower lid, okay? And so I have a definite up, like upper lid and lower lid and you can see them both, all right? So just like the picture that I have up here. Okay, and we're gonna come back to it, but I want you to be able to see how this is like a standard eye color application technique. It, if you're not sure how to apply your eye color, this technique will work for pretty much every eye shape, okay? Um, and so when in doubt, you would go with the standard eye application technique, all right? Then we have the hooded eye. So eyes with eyelids that are not readily seen. So um, in this case, the eyelid, actually, the, the upper eyelid actually covers the lower eyelid. So you can see here in this picture how her upper eyelid goes all the way to her lash line. So see the difference from this eye where you can see the lower lid and where the crease is versus the hooded eye where you don't see the lower lid or the crease at all because the upper lid goes all the way to the lash line. And so in this case, what you're doing is you're not going to do probably quite as much with a darker tone. You're going to have that mid-tone along the crease of the eye. And then you're going to use the lighter shades on that lower lid and upper lid so that that brings that lower lid out from underneath that upper, upper lid, just to give you a little bit more definition and to make that hooded area a little bit more defined. Okay, then we have the single lid or um, mo mono lid, I think is what they call it. So this is where you have a vanishing eyelid that appears as a flat surface um, when the eyes are closed due to a lack of a natural crease. All right, this is uh, most common in Asians, um, Asian ethnicities, but not only. And so if you have where it's basically, you don't have much of a crease at all, it's one lid, that is a single lid. Deep set, okay, these are where your eyes are deeply set within the eye socket, okay? And so it might be where you can actually see your socket bone is more um, prominent, all right? And so in this case, you can see how the darker color is actually, you're kind of cheating it. You carry that darker color up high, and you carry this lighter shade actually above the crease, again, to bring it out from the shadowed hooded area of the socket. And we're gonna, we'll, we'll come back and kind of look at this again, but this is where that socket bone below the brow, um, the eye is more deep set into that socket bone. Then we have our wide set eyes. So like we said before, a wide set is where you have actually more than an eye width in between the two eyes. 
And, um, and so here you take the darker color actually in further in order to bring the eyes a little bit closer together. In fact, you can see here in the model that I found where they've done exactly that. They've carried that darker eye shadow up into um, towards the nose. And then what my guess is going to be, oh, I guess I have to go back this way, is that the close set eyes, see, it's the exact opposite. You have what you're doing with the close set eye is you're carrying the dark color actually out past the eyebrow and keeping it very light in the middle. And that is to help to keep, create a little bit more space between the eyes. So does everybody feel, does everyone feel like you know what your eye shape is? Everyone clear on what your eye shape is? Speak yes. now or forever hold your peace. I'm just kidding. Yes. <laughs> I'm crystal clear. Yeah, crystal clear, clear as mud. Okay, so now what I want to do is review briefly the products that we're going to be playing with tonight. Um, and that so you can have these in front of you if you want to use them. So the first one is the eye primer. Now I absolutely love the eye primer. Those of you who know me know how much I love our eye primer. Um, a little bit goes a long way. So if you, and this is going to make your eye makeup last all day without fading or creasing. It also gives your eyeshadow something to hold on to. So not only does it make it longer lasting, but it's also going to really help you when you're trying to define where those colors go. Because if you place your color your eyeshadow and you do all that and then you go to blend it to soften you don't necessarily want to see exactly where one color starts and the other one stops so you do want to blend them but i know that i've had clients before who felt really frustrated because they would take the time to do their eyeshadow and then it would just basically look like one big blob of color all of the colors would just mix together so from the lashes all the way up to the eyebrow the whole thing just looked like one color like they had mixed paint okay or you take the time to do it and you don't even, and you can't even notice it in pictures or by the end, by lunchtime, it's gone. So the eye primer is really going to help you with placing the color exactly where you want it to go, being able to softly blend without turning it into one big mash of color and to make it last all day. So I put my eye makeup on in the morning. It lasts all day. And that's really important to me because I do, sometimes I do my makeup in the morning. I work a little bit. I, my kids come home from school. I take the middle of the day to, to spend time with them, help them with their homework, do all that. And then I'm coming on live on a Zoom or at an in-person party that night. I don't want to have to reapply my eye makeup multiple times a day. And so that long lasting um, impact is really important to me. Um, also, we're going to be using our Chroma Fusion eyeshadows. This is just one of my palettes. Um, so you can see, I'm just using my palette that has quite a few of my favorite eyeshadows. It has my bronzer, my powder, my cheeks. Um, you guys have seen in past videos, my everyday palette that has my contour highlighter and cheek and my everyday eyeshadows that I use. And so those are the ones that I'm using, you know, constantly. And so between this and this, I've got everything that I need and I love it. And so um, Chroma Fusion eyeshadows, they are designed also for long wear. They are um, layerable. They are sheer. I absolutely love the pigmentation of them because you can control how much color you want, but they're, they're bold, but they're layerable. So if you want something like, you know, a, like our bright purple color, you can put that on, but you can put it on sheer or you can put it on more heavy duty. Also, something that I love about our Chroma Fusion is that the shimmer colors do not age you. They don't add to creepiness or wrinkles or creasing um, the way a lot of shimmers can. And so I like it because, it, you know, some of the shimmer products out there can really accentuate, you know, craping and things like that and age you. And so then you hit, you know, 35, 40 years old and you have to start really paying attention to how much shimmer you have. Whereas with the Chroma Fusion, I've been able to bring back um, lots of fun shimmer shades. 
So that's another thing that I love about the Chroma Fusion. And Jennifer may be um, sharing some things too when she comes on here in just a minute that she loves about Chroma Fusion. And then we also have our cream eyeshadows. And so the cream eyeshadows are great because they go on like a cream. They dry like a powder. Um, this one is the pink star, starlight or whatever that's called. Ah, let's see if you can see it there. The light's not very good. Let's see, y'all see that? So there's a pink one. It's really um, soft. I just put, I love just doing one of these colors quickly with mascara before I dash, like it's my little dash out the door. And then there's the gold. So you've got pink, gold. We have a purpley meteor color and then a kind of a fun um, brown color. So those cream eyeshadows are great and they can even be used as a primer. You can put those on, let them dry, kind of buff them, put Chrome Fusion right on over the top. So you can layer those really nicely. Um, tonight, we're also going to be talking about eyeliner. We're going to be doing lashes in a couple of weeks. So come back for that. Um, we're not going to do lashes. So I have just a tiny bit of mascara on just, just because we're not going to be doing it later, but we are going to be doing our eyeliner. And then we're going to get to talk about our different brushes and our brush cleaner and all that good stuff. So if you guys want to have all that ready, and then of course we have our amazing Mary Kay brushes. So we're going to walk you through as Jennifer and I do our eye color. We're going to walk you through like our different eye, um, eye brushes and how we use them. And these are high quality brushes that um, I highly recommend because they're super competitively priced for a really high end brush at a very moderate price. So we're going to talk a little bit about that. So, um, okay. So I'm going to pass this over to you, Jennifer, and then we'll, we'll just kind of bounce back and forth as we go. How does that sound? Sounds good. Awesome. All right. Let me, let me spotlight you. So I am super excited to introduce you to Jennifer. She is by day an educator. And so by night we've called her to be an educator again. So I'm so happy that you could join us. And she's somebody that has really just encouraged many of our consultants on our in our hotel stays, at our fun little conferences that we go to and things like that. We've done some retreats together, conferences together. Conferences. And she's always the one, right, ladies, that is helping the consultants play with new colors and try different ways of applying it. And so we thought, who better to have the for our eyes? Oh, my night. So Jennifer, what do you have for us tonight? Well, I have all my brushes. Um, and I thought I had another one, but I'm just going to go with it because I can't find the other brush I was looking for. Which so, one are you looking um, for? Maybe I have it. Well, I thought I had another, um, like another, should have put my on, another cream brush. Um, but it's, it's okay. I'll okay. just make it work. Um, so um, I'm going to apply my, my eye primer while you get started so you guys can see. I already did this, that while you, you were. already did that. Okay. So just yeah, one yeah, dot did that while, you were, while you were talking. Um, Great. So, but I have my eyeshadows. I think I have everyone that Mary Kay owns. And yes. then I have more and I didn't bring all my eyeshadows out because there's still more in the drawer um because I love eyeshadow and so um we'll do that so I have two looks that I use and one I just learned last week why I was doing um why I was studying all this and it was kind of fun and um But I think we're going to start with um, the one that um, I did on Cindy while we were in seminar. Okay. Um, and what I do is I just, I pick a real light color and I put it and I just use the, I just use the, I just use the whole eye. Um, and use the all over brush um, and just put it all over, just put it all over the eye. 
Okay. So what color are you using right now? You're just doing one of the lighter shades? I used, Lord, I my glasses on. Um, crystal, crystalline. Okay. So yeah, so that's one of our light shimmer colors and you're doing it over the whole eye. And what, what's your eye, eye. what is your eye shape? I thought I knew, but when you wrote the, when you put all those other ones out, I wasn't real sure after that, because I'm not okay. sure if it's deep set or hooded. I would say you're probably a little bit more deep set. Look yeah. at me. Yeah, I think you're maybe more deep set. So then the next thing I did was I take, depending on what I wear and how I'm feeling that morning, because I'm just a go with it person. I like to take the hazelnut. Um, I just love all my colors. And so I take the hazelnut and then I just make like a little, I call it an arch. I just kind of go around. So that I have an arch there. I don't know if y'all can see that. Well, look, okay. Let me just look at your natural instincts because look at this. All right. So if I look at deep set eye compared to what you just did, y'all see that? Yeah. I mean, it's, it's just like what you did. It's that, that kind of windshield wiper arch above the crease of the eye. Rather than down in the crease, you want to go above the crease, which is what you just did. I love that. And then, where's that little pointy brush? There it is. I'm going to do an alligator mouth. I call it an alligator mouth. And I take, um, okay, we're going to go with the gold. Well, We're gonna do the gold. And we're gonna do like a little alligator mouth, like right there. And then right there. And it just makes a little alligator mouth, like right there. I'm cleaning my brushes with our brush cleaner when I use them. So when we switch colors, it'll be all nice and clean. Show, show that again. All right, so yeah, so that's the brush cleaner and show and that you just spritz the brush. <laughs> yes. You just spray it and then you just on whatever, a clean washcloth or paper towel, you just gently yeah. wipe without, you don't want to cram the brush because you don't want to mess up the bristles. Yep. Okay. And then what do you do? Oh, wrong brush. Okay. And then I take whatever colors I'm using. Since I'm wearing pink today, we're going to do pink. Okay. I really need it over here. Okay. Are you so, able to move your mirror um, or your computer so that, because you're doing your eye that's away from the computer, and so we can't see you. Yeah. Find okay. out where your camera is. <laughs> Or just like put your mirror, yeah, put your mirror on the other side of the camera. Or I mean, on the other side of your computer. Is that better? Well, it's just when you're do when you're looking at the mirror, you're going like this. And so you're doing it on the eye that we can't see instead of doing it like this where we can see the eye. Does that make sense? Well, here, maybe I, can, maybe I can use the camera as my mirror. Yeah, you can try that. Or do you have one you can hold up? No. Okay. So Girl, yeah, just, it's I'll just because it's on the opposite. The if you were doing your other eye, yeah. we could see it. Yeah, that it's makes sense. 
Yeah. yeah. So maybe just do the other eye. It's just because you're turning this way and it happens to be the eye that's going away from the computer. So we can't see it. Let's see. Okay. <laughs> We're just going to see how, how much we can make you work for it, girl. So what are you doing now? Just blending? So I'm putting on the bottom color. Oh, okay. Um, the pink color? The pink color. One of the pink colors. I don't even know which one it is. The sunlit rose is my favorite. Oh, yeah, that's pretty. Just going to leave those out because... That's Something that we've that. done really fun um, to y'all is we, I've done grab bag nights where I had like a, you know, like a lunch sack, cute little lunch bag or a gift bag. And I had all of our highlighting colors in one bag and then our mid-tones in a different bag and then our accent darker shades in a third bag. And everybody picked one from each bag and you had to put them on. And it was so fun because colors that you would maybe never put together it was really fun to see how they would go together, like gold with purple or blue and green or like things like that. And it was really, that was really fun. So I encourage y'all to play with your colors a little bit, mix them up. Don't, don't feel like you can, all the pinks have to go together and all the browns have to go together. So she's got- And I really like this, this little moss color. Yeah, that mossy green. And so she's got, right now she has crystalline, which is like a shimmery golden white. She has hazelnut, which is a nice soft brown mid-tone. And then she has a pink sunlit rose together. And that looks really beautiful. So we're gonna, we're gonna, I haven't tried this yet, but we're going to try this tonight. But just okay. put this green right here in this upper part right here. Okay. Oh, these are different colors. Great. Cool. Yeah. Okay. So let, let us see. Can you hold the light up so we can see you straight on of one eye, the eye, eye with eyeshadow and the eye without? Okay. Yeah. Y'all see that? All see right. how that mid tone, it just helped. Like right now, I don't have any eyeshadow on. So my eyes, I just, you kind of just see the whole lid. But when you start to shape it, it really, and it's, she's got bright blue eyes. And so it really makes her blue eyes pop when she opens them. Well, they really do. Mm -hmm. Great. Okay. So what's next? Okay. So this is the trick I learned off of the Mary Kay Color Connections the other day. Was, where'd that brush go? Oh, there it is. Okay. Was well, you take a light tone? Let's try another color this time. <clears throat> try this one. Okay. So we're going to do all over again. Okay. And this time we're going to take the, what's this, a smudger brush? Yeah, the smudger brush. And, um, Let's do this one. We're going to use what color is that? Golden mauve. And we're gonna go right, this bone is right here. We're gonna go right underneath it, and we're gonna go, we're gonna do like, we're gonna go like this, just go underneath it like this. We're just gonna make like an like an arch. Where's that camera? We're gonna just make an arch okay. like that. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. See, and you're like carrying that. that color up. I think a lot of women are scared to do the color up high, but that's actually exactly where you want it to go. Because look at how much that opened her eye, y'all. This is just me because I have this thing about this alligator mouth in the corner of my eye. I don't know why, but I just like it so much. Mm 
So, and I'm going to do the green again. So I can tell I like the green. Oops, sorry. I forgot y'all are there. <laughs> And I just did that little alligator mouth. Great. Oh, wow. Yeah, I love that. Mm -hmm. Just takes it. So it almost takes it from a daytime to a nighttime. Like sometimes I'll do just that mid-tone and that light color, or I just do that windshield wiper swoosh, you know, that rainbow right there, and then a lighter shade and some mascara. And that's a great daytime look where it just makes your eyes kind of awake, makes them look bigger helps you like look put together but then when you start adding those accent colors and do that alligator mouth that little sideways v there um that's what really gives it even more glamour okay more, awesome more colors on my eyes than i've ever had yeah. <laughs> and then because i don't do real well with a pencil I have learned that to take the, mm -hmm. there it is, the end of the, the brush oh, that edger, has like that edge yeah. uh -huh. mm -hmm. and then to take the, the really dark, yeah, where's the camera, okay, <laughs> the really dark one, I think it's the espresso. Okay, yeah, okay. that dark brown. Because it, because it matches really close to the brown eyeliner. Mm-hmm. So I take it, and I do like this, and I just go right along the eye, top of the eye, like that. Very nice. And it's, yeah, it's just a soft way to help fill it, kind of fill in your lash line, make your lashes look fuller. Very nice. And you can also take, for those of you, you can do an eyeliner and then use that little smudger brush to soften it. So you don't have to worry about getting your eyeliner just perfect. You can smudge it out and make it a softer edge. And the Chroma Fusion are designed to be used that way, to be able to do as an eyeliner. You can even get this little, oh. this side of the brush damp and you can actually apply it wet. Oh, wow. <laughs> Just and sometimes I'll go over it with eyeliner. Mm -hmm. And then we have a liquid pen that is great if you love the look of the liquid, but you're a little bit intimidated about it. And then we have a, a black gel. So we have a black liquid pen. And then we come out seasonally with different colors as well. Uh, we'll come out with like purples and browns and golds, but this is our pen. Let me see if I can... And um, I love our liquid pen because you can just yeah, you go ahead with that one. Do wow! That. I haven't used the pen. I like the pen, and then um, we have the gel eyeliner that you put on with the gel brush too. So we have lots of choices for eyeliners. Okay. And of course, last week we did brows. So we, we did all about shaping the brows. And then next week we are doing Kissology for Valentine's Day. And then we'll go back to the eyes on the 21st. And we're doing a lash bash on the 21st. Okay, Miss Jennifer, anything else for us before I show some of my little techniques? No, that's it. Sometimes oh. I'll take the... I'll take the this white and I'll use the where's that brush go? I just had it in my hand. <laughs> this corner, and I'll just take the white and I'll just go in like this and just go in like that with it, with the white, just, just to do something different. Cool. Yeah. Just it's fun to just fun. play with play with different techniques. Awesome. Well, thank you like so much, Jennifer. All right. Who, who has something that you want to share that Jennifer, that you learned from Miss Jennifer? And then I'm going to talk a little bit about some techniques for um, some of the other eye shapes. Any questions or feedback for Miss Jennifer? 
Well, I, I, I well, I don't know if this a difference in hmm, color versus uh, eye color um, versus um, skin color, kind of, mm-hmm. because um, I was always taught that we put darker uh, color on the outside. Um, so I, I was just I was just a little shocked to see the lighter color on the outside um i never outside? done that before. on the outside on okay um you got the inside of your eye and mm-hmm. you got the outside of your eye mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah okay well i think that that's more actually about um the eye shape so i'm gonna pull this other yeah, image up saying. that mm-hmm. shows all of the eye shapes at one, well, not all, but a majority of the eye shapes at once. So you guys can see this chart here and you can see how there's that light pink is the highlighting color. Mm -hmm. The darker pink is the mid-tone color. And then Mm -hmm. that blue, that kind of aqua blue is where you would put the accent color. Mm -hmm. So depending on the, the shape of your eye is going to determine where you put the different colors. Mm -hmm. And so um, let me see if there's a way, I'm trying to think of how, if there's a way for me to do this, I don't think there is, um, where you can see me better. (laughs) I want you to be able to see the chart, but I want y'all to be able to see me too. And I don't know if there's a way for me to to do that. Um, Let's see. I don't think that makes a difference what I'm doing right now. The reason why I said it is, is because you, you, you got people who go and look at different people do, um, doing, um, what you call them, um, uh, showing you how to do your eyes. Mm-hmm. But the thing about it is, if you, you trying to copy what someone else does, it may not fit you. And you have well, to understand, it, yes. yeah. That's yeah. why you and that's know. Exactly, and that's why I think it's really important to find people, like to figure out what your eye mm-hmm. shape is yeah, and apply it accordingly. So I'm going to show you guys, I guess I'm going to close this because you really can't see me at all if I have that open, um, but I can bring it back on again. But I'm going to show y'all how I do. It's very similar to Jennifer. Um, I actually do the darkest shade first. And the reason that I do it that way is simply because for a bolder eye. So if, if you want something a little bit more, a little bit softer, if color intimidates you, um, for sure you can cover, I, cause I used to do it that way too. Where I did the whole eyelid in the lighter shade and then I layered over the top. Um, but what I learned was it helped my eye makeup last longer by putting, doing it more of a color by numbers and doing the darker shade first and then kind of layering from there so that 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 those colors were on the eye primer so it gave it something to hold on to um and then blending afterwards so i'm going to show you what that looks like just because it is something that can intimidate a lot of people when you first start on it when i'm teaching women how to apply their color they get a little freaked out at first <laughs> um and and i'm like don't don't worry it's going to look scary before it looks good And so I do very much the same thing where I'll do like a sideways, she called it the alligator. I do like a sideways V. So my mom called it like a little boomerang because it's, it's not really a full V. It's a little bit imagining that line. Remember when we were doing our brows, there's that line from the nose to the corner of the eye, to the edge of the eyebrow. And so I'm basically going along that natural line of my eye and then on up above the crease like this. All right. So this is that dark, darkest shade that goes right there. And this isn't, this is not going to be like a really bold eye. So you'll be able to see that this is not anything crazy. And then I take my um, everything brush, eye blending brush, and I'm going to do, I'm just going to keep it super simple. I'm just going to do my everyday eye color. So y'all can see this. I like wearing purples a lot because of my green eyes but my everyday is just brown so that I don't have to worry about it clashing with anything that I'm wearing. And so I go over the top of that and I'm blending that darker shade, but I'm doing the brown all the way up. See how I'm going up past my socket bone, almost to the arch of my eyebrow. 
I'm not going all the way to my eyebrow, but I'm going along the crease and then I'm kind of blending that inward this way. Okay, so you're not gonna see exactly where the dark color starts and stops because now I'm starting to blend these shades together. And I'm not, I'm still, this is still just eye primer right here. So then I'm able to take my little placement brush and get my lightest shade. This is Honey Spice. This is my, one of my favorite, just again, every day. Very soft, but it has some of that shimmer. And I put it right there on the inside, lower part, and right underneath the arch of my eyebrow, like that. Okay. And so that's just a super quick way to do eye color with three eyeshadows. It's lifting, it's bringing, you know, it's kind of making it so that my eyelid isn't quite so pronounced. Um, and it gives a nice little accent there of some color. And then I can do some eyeliner. I can do a wing eyeliner. I can do, um, just a quick smudge. I love our eye pencils because they do go on so soft and smooth and they're blendable. First of all, little trick in case y'all don't know this, our eyeliners have a sharpener <laughs> at the tip of it. And so you take it off and you can see mine's, I have not, I do not sharpen mine very often. Oh, this is, I need to get a new one. I think I'm like, oh no, good. It's sharpening. I mean, it's going up there. Let me see here. All right, so see, it's a expand, um, mechanical pencil. So you get some, and then let's see if I can do this. My eye, I don't know if I can do this with my eyes being as bad as they are. Let's see. All right, so can you see how it's sharpening here? All right, so that, I don't know if you can tell, but that is sharpening the tip there. Now it's sharp, okay? And you can do, as thin or as thick as you want, it goes on so smooth. You would think that it would be too soft, but y'all, these, these eye pencils stay and they last all day and they just stay put. But if you want to blend it, let me put the lid on before I mess that up, then you can take that same edge that Jennifer was using. So see how it's just a perfect line? Very, it's very easy to do, but if you wanna do a little bit more of a smoky eye and kind of smudge it out, or if you feel like it's just not as perfect as you want it, then you just take that. And we actually, we have a, my, uh, my smudge brush, sorry. I like the smudge brush even better. And you do that, okay? So that is a good standard application technique, but if you have different, eye shapes, then you can look at this. And so like, for example, deep set eyes. All right. So that deep brown that I did, that darker shade for a deep set eye, you're not going to do as much of that sideways V. You're just going to do it on that top and you're going to wing it up and down. And then that, um, that mid-tone color there. And then you're actually going to do the darker shade here because it brings it back and then it brings the top part out. And so remember when we've talked in previous weeks that highlighting shades are going to lift things, are going to make them seem bigger and closer to you. Darkening shades are going to break, make things look smaller and further away. And so you're creating depth with your eye. So you can see the difference from one eye to the other. Does anybody have any feedback or questions about um, some just basic eyeshadow application? Did, was that helpful? I like adding the eye primer mm -hmm. um, to that. And I use all of the waterproof because I have allergies. Mm. <laughs> and so waterproof eyeliner, that's what I have on the day. And I do Texas, so I'm in Walmart. So dust is everywhere. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't wear the waterproof mascara today because I need to order me another one. Mm -hmm. But I did the intensity, but I put the eye primer all through my lashes. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> and so it stayed on the day and it didn't come all down here and it was a bad allergy day to day oh, so man. I always like to use the eye primer all the way up <laughs> put yes. my brow gel in there I didn't I didn't yeah. put it in the day I just like brushed through it um and because all of that stays in place when you put the eye primer like all over of course you can't get it in your eyes of course you know 
We, but, we that, definitely don't recommend that. But yeah, you know, and that is something I'm glad you brought that up, Yolanda, because that is something is if I know that I'm going to be doing eye makeup on the bottom and I'm going to be wearing it all day, I, I'll do that. You guys saw me do the primer literally from the lashes all the way up to the brow. And then when and then when I'm done with that, I do go and I'll do it right along here on that lower lash line here so that it will hold on to that color. And um, and if you guys have a problem with your eye makeup running a lot, ours do really great with that. But um, if it's a real issue for you, one of the causes sometimes, I know some of y'all just have very like watery prone eyes. Eye primer will help with that. The waterproof eye, uh, mascara is amazing. It lasts forever. Um, and then also uh, check what you're using to um, take your eye makeup off. Our what our eye makeup remover is oil free. You want to make sure that you're using an oil free eye makeup remover that's water soluble, like ours is, because it rinses right off. Because what can happen is if you use an oil based, I know some people are like, oh, like coconut oil or something like that. If you're using something that's an oil based and then you're trying to rinse it off with water, and then the next morning you go to put your eye makeup on, you still have oily residue on your eyelids, your eyelashes, and you may not even notice it, but so then you're putting your mascara on over oil and then you're, and then it's running and that could be part of it too. So those are two things to think about. It's so funny to be like talking to you guys with one eye done and one not, and I don't even have my mascara on because we're going to do that on a different week. So, oh my goodness, y'all. Thank you so, so much for plugging in. And those of you, thank you for your comments on our um, Facebook streaming. Those of you who commented, if you had any questions, we will go back and take a look at those and answer those as well. If you're watching this through our YouTube link and all of that, please don't hesitate to reach out to your beauty consultant and let her know that you would like to play with some color, get a new updated, you know, eye makeup look. Um, also brushes, it's time to change your brushes. They say one to three years. So depending on how frequently you use them and how well you take care of them, um, powder, the dry powder brushes, like we use for most of our eye colors and things like that. Those, you can just use our brush cleaner um, once a week and clean them. The liquid brushes that we use for like liquid foundation and concealer, those you want to use every time. And you can use our cleanser with that. You can use our, so our hand soaps with that. Um, and then every once in a while, if they need a really good cleaning, you can use like a dish soap, even an antibacterial dish soap to clean those. Um, but you want to keep those clean every single time. And so, you know, they're going to get a little bit worn. And so I highly encourage you to take a look at our brushes too, because they are a great deal. All right, y'all. Am I forgetting anything? I feel like, I feel like I'm forgetting stuff, but that went so smooth and so fast. And I just want to thank y'all so much for joining us. And I hope that you'll be back here. Same time, same place next week for our Kissology. Have your favorite lipstick ready or reach out to your beauty consultant so that she can get some fun samples for you to try during our Kissology next week on Valentine's Day. We're gonna have our, our girly time, a Galentine's Day. For those of you who do not have somewhere you have to be, we want you to be right here with us, all right? So love you guys. I'm gonna um, consultant you. Feel free to stay on so we can enjoy some more fun and recognition. So let me just finish our stuff here. <laughs>